sitting at the dinner table with my parents watching the last Apollo landing. As a five-year-old child, I was so moved by what I saw that I said to my parents, I want to be a NASA astronaut. And my parents said to me, you can do whatever you put your mind to. You just have to make it so. So many of the missions that we are shaping today are not possible. So we have to innovate in order to get to where we need to be for the future. Our investment in innovation pays dividends way beyond the space industry. Whenever we innovate, whether it's to enable a capability or to solve a specific problem, we transition those technologies to private industry so that they can transform them even further and improve the quality of life for everyone. Establishing yourselves as a prominent member in the space community takes tremendous investment. Your investment will deeply impact current and future leaders, as well as members of the community. In fact, one of the biggest benefits having the Space Agency will be motivating and exciting the next generation of youth. Through the um, Department of State Development and the Trade Mission Program that's been run, we've been able to minimise their risks there significantly. Um, the people the, at the government to government level have opened doors. We've never even found the whole street in India that that door opened onto. You have got incredible skills in advanced manufacturing. You have extraordinary capability in terms of the universities. You have this changing focus around the areas that we know are really important to protect. And you have a community that actually have rallied around us. It is an amazing place to run and grow a business. It has a tremendous uh, educated, passionate, loyal, capable workforce. We built a business here based around the technical capability um, and the ability to be committed and innovative out of the local labor market. Um, so it's no surprise to me at all that someone from NASA thinks we've got a lot of potential here. Of course we do.